Can you imagine buying an electric car at the price of ICE variant? Yes, I'm going to tell you, you can almost do this. And here is the option that I'm going to talk about. This is India's most affordable electric car that is being brought to you by none other than homegrown Tata Motors. Tata Tiago EV, if you talk about the entry variant, is almost equal to the top end variant of Tata Tiago CNG. Yes, you heard it right. The onboard price of Tata Tiago top end CNG is almost equal to the price of Tata Tiago EV. I'm sure you must have got excited about the electric car at least after hearing the price of this electric car because that has been the biggest roadblock when it comes to adoption of electric car in the country. Get inside the car and I'll tell you how does this India's most affordable electric car drive and what are the features and is it having good enough power and what are the positive and negative of this Tata Tiago EV, how good it is going to be for city drive or long drive. Follow me. Overall cabin has remained almost uh, same as the ICE variant of Tiago. You have steering mounted uh, control of uh, multimedia. You have cruise control, all those kind of things, full connectivity. So now I will show you how does India's most affordable electric car function. Let you first start the car. So you have a push button start, but this is a long range variant and uh, uh, this is high variant. But in the low entry level variant, you do not have push button start. I'll request my camera person to show the how the range changes because that is the most important thing when you buy an electric car you see. So right now the AC mode is on, then you are seeing the range is about 208 km. If I turn on further the sports mode, it will further go down if I turn the sports mode. You will see the range has further come down to 198 kilometers so the range will vary based on how do you drive look at if i turn off the ac and then i go to normal d mode then your range increases to 231 kilometers and if i further move to sports mode further it comes down so though the company claims a range of 275 kilometers but it will completely depend on the mode you are driving in what condition you are driving if you are driving in a hot humid situation where you need to have a high ac consumption then your range will definitely come down i would suggest this is going to be a beautiful option if your daily you know run around is of about 100 kilometers to 150 kilometer then you can safely return to your charging base other thing what you notice here is this chrome handle that you see that was not there in the ice variant then you will see as i talked about the blue uh, color that has been used purposefully to show that it is environment friendly or electric car you will see all these lines that was not there in the ice variant of electric vehicle that is running all around the dashboard that claims that makes you feel that is the major differentiation between ice tiago and electric tiago then there's another big uh, change that has come in the interior side of electric Tiago is this instrument cluster which is now different you have uh, region numbers and battery charge etc that is obviously and naturally was needed one interesting thing generally to open the boot you have a uh, uh, switch uh, below the seat but uh, Tata motor has given it here and boot opening has been made quite easy you have electronically controlled 
boot opening as I showed you also then there are these this is another switch that is uh, very interesting this is for uh, the change that they have brought generally if you are going on a slow charge the charging gun while ejecting needs some time let the system sleep then you can only remove the charging butt but in this case what you can do you can just press and you can immediately immediately eject the you know charging gun that is another thing these are the two switch which indicates which uh, regeneration mode you can put your car into I can show you if I can ask the camera person I'll press it so this is uh, regeneration mode 1 level 2 level 3 though so there are three levels of regeneration that you can use uh, to recharge or charge your battery while you are on the drive especially you can use it while you are on downhill a Tiago EV comes with an automatic transmission you have drive mode you have neutral mode you have uh, rear now you have sports mode also you get this regeneration in both sports mode and also in the drive mode there's one more change that you find between ice Tiago and electric Tiago is electric Tiago has a lesser boot space but you have a smarter you know opening you can just press electronically and open the boot but the space has been contained because uh, if you see the battery packs are given here and at the rear seat so automatically you know naturally the space in the boot has been reduced due to that and if you talk about cars you will find you know automatic uh, opening of the charging uh, port which is not there you have to open it like you open the ice engine fuel tank same way manually you can open from the cabin it is not automatic some of the visible change that you see at the front of the Tiago EV if you compare with ice Tiago is that uh, this blue planet that has come uh, which is indicative of electric vehicle uh, you will find this uh, in Tigo EV and other change you will see the EV logo has a different outlook here the EV starts with dot and also the logo is projected outside not rather than being imposed inside that is the another change that you will notice you will see here the fog lamp also has a black uh, fiber cladding that was not there in the ice uh, version of Tiago there are two battery packs that is being offered along with uh, Tiago E first one is 19 about 19 kWh uh, battery pack which offers a range of up to uh, 275 km as per company claims the other battery pack is of 24 kWh if you are looking at an affordable uh, pocket friendly low operating cost environment friendly and easy to drive in city condition car then Tata Tiago EV is going to be one of the most important options that you can explore why I'm saying so the Tata Tiago EV that is being launched by Tata Motors has already crossed 20,000 booking is priced at 8.49 lakh going up to 11.76 lakh which is pretty pocket friendly for anybody if you talk about operating cost according to the company the operating cost is at one fifth of the ice variant so that is the best part of it the other challenge that you face in city to a city traffic where you have bumper to bumper traffic your legs are paining because of pressing clutch brake clutch brake that has been resolved and this car comes with automatic transmission as standard this car can be perfect as the claimed uh, range is being offered is about 275 kilometers for the entry level variant which is medium range and apart from this safety is one of the biggest aspect and you know Tata Motors is scoring high in safety aspects this Tata Tiago EV comes with four star end cap rating that is very good looking at this price segment apart from that the car comes with dual airbag as standard so these are some of the safety features that the company is offering that makes it a choice for you in city driving situation.